pleased to inaugurate the pipe organ of the Rashol Seminary after its restoration. As we all know, the Patriarchal Seminary of Rashol is a house of formation for priesthood. And music is part and parcel of this formation. We have for the philosophy study of notation, we have for the theology one year of Gregorian music, one year of Indian music, and one year of liturgical music. Besides, we have the famous Santa Cecilia choir, which was started in 1897. It is one of the few male choirs of first tenor, second tenor, baritone and bass. And therefore, in the seminary also we encourage students to study various music. In Goa, we have seven pipe organs from the late medieval era. This pipe organ at Rashal Seminary is one of those still in working condition. During the Sunday liturgical ceremonies and solemnities, this pipe organ is accompanied by string ensemble, which gives solemnity to the liturgy sung by Santa Cecilia Choir. This pipe organ is made in Germany and the manufacturer is Gebrüderlink. The installation of this pipe organ must have been in between the years 1888 to 1904. It was designed around a tonal basis of 8 feet open diapason, 8 feet dulciana and 4 feet flute. It has mechanical stops and key actions. Each stop has a set of 56 pipes. The console is placed at the side of the case. Originally it had a foot level for blowing the air which in 2011 was replaced with an electrical blower. This pipe organ has its own history and antiquity which deserves special care for restoration, conservation and preservation. Due to excess of humidity, it was deteriorating. The wooden frames had started decaying because of termites. The air chamber were damaged. The hides of the bellows were worn out. Even the metal pipes had started oxidizing. With timely intervention of Mr. Fernando Fernandes and his meticulous and skillful ex expertise, we managed to restore this pipe organ. All the oxidized pipes were restored back to their original condition.
the hides of the bellows were replaced, the chamber were restored, and the decayed wooden frames were replaced. Apart from the electrical blower, a provision is also made for the functioning of the foot lever in the absence of electricity. Today, this pipe organ breathes a new life thanks to Mr. Fernando Fernandes, his daughter Farah, and the carpenter, Mr. Damian Dessa. Thank you.